this is Debbie here from Southern Delight. I'm so glad that you joined me today. Well, today I'm going to show you how I did some wax melts. And we're going to concentrate on these little three fellas down here. I have a little plush bear that I uh, dipped. There is a little doggy that I did. And then I changed the containers out and there's another teddy bear in there. But this is three ways that you can market those little plush toys that you can pick up from most anywhere. These I happened to pick up at the Dollar Tree, and I used a little bit of wax and some soap scents, and I made a beautiful, beautiful gift to give someone. So stay tuned, and we'll get started. All right, I've stretched out some wax paper. <clears throat> These are the little plush toys that I'm going to be dipping, and I am using some scented soap scents that I have on hand. This one is apple. <clears throat> Coconut makes a nice one as well. And then I have put probably this wax here, added some water in, I filled it about halfway, and then I've added another ceramic bowl in it and poured about a cup to a cup and a half of the wax inside of it. And um, now we're going to be melting the wax down. And uh, you might want to make sure you're using a bowl that you... Um, won't for you want to set aside for crafting because we're going to be adding all of these scents and the wax and they really um, tend to be kind of hard to clean up and you're also going to want to make sure that you have a bowl that is not going to shatter when you don't want to use a glass bowl um, this one happens to be a heavy duty ceramic bowl in there okay and as you can see it's starting to melt i'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because it's melting nicely and then once it melts, we're going to pull out this bowl and add our scents to it. Okay, it's all melted down and we're going to pull, uh, pull it off and um, pour in the scents. And I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this, but um, this is all I have right now. So we'll go ahead and continue on. All right, there's my little dog. Um, there's two ways that you can do this. I got bold and um, <clears throat> I left the pot in the boiler and I decided to just dip him in there and I have to say I love it when they're fully dipped. This little doll smells heavenly. It smells so wonderful. Um, now I would advise wear gloves because it will soak up all of the wax in there and you're going to have to squeeze it a bit to get some of the wax out and you want to make sure you don't burn yourself. But if you're new at this, another technique is just to take a paintbrush, dip it into the wax, and then just paint it onto your little stuffed animal. That's another technique that you can use. Now, those, they don't get as coated, but they do still carry a lot of the scent. But um, this one right here, he actually feels like wax. <laughs> So, I, I really love this technique, and he, it's drying right now. I've got it on the wax paper, but um, I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to continue using this technique here where you dip them in. All right, this little guy is really starting to smell. He feels like a candle. Um, I went and added a bow to him, and I'm adding some little bitty hearts, and um, I've got to glue that one back on his belly. And I have this little heart shape, and we're going to put it in a plastic bag. 